college experience, some college experience, gap years. If this sounds like you and you're at your wits end in overseas basketball, you've been trying to play professionally for years, then this video is for you because today I'm going to show you how literally anyone can contact an overseas team and get your overseas basketball career started today. Let's get right into it. Now, this strategy is specifically tailored towards one country in particular, and that is Germany. So this will not be a strategy where you are shotgunning your resume and your highlight film out to different people. Now, why Germany? Currently, I'm actually here on plane, so I've really integrated myself into the basketball culture here, learning lots, and I came up with this strategy after speaking with different coaches and players and learning the interface of basically how German basketball works. And the other thing is that Germany actually has 11 levels in its basketball system. So that makes it a prime location for rookies, beginners, people who are at your wits end, you just want to start in overseas basketball. Here is a great way to do it. And I'm going to show you it right now. So the first thing that I need you to do is to actually grab your cell phone right now and I need you to go to the app store. Now I want you to download an app called DBB. It's gonna be the second or the first application that uh, pops up. It's gonna be the one really obvious, the one with the basketball, black, red, silver, goldish type of frame. And this is the Deutschland Basketball Federation, the German Basketball Federation that everyone in Germany is using. The only thing is people outside of Germany, like in North America, the USA, Canada, wherever, they really don't even know this thing exists. And this is an absolute gold mine. So much great information on not only the top teams, but also the lower teams and and specifically, what we want to know is teams that are not even featured on Eurobasket. When you go into this application, you'll have all these different things that you can look up. You can look up events. You can look up articles. You can look up all types of different things. What we want is actually the results and tables. Now, I understand it's in German, so you might have to translate it, or I'm here to just follow along with the video that I'm doing right now. So what you need to do is click on the results and tables. Now, when you click that, you will have all these different leagues pop up. You will have the national leagues, which is the Bundesliga, the BBL, uh, Pro A, Pro B, and the regional leagues are actually considered national, even though they're divided into North and South conferences. What we want, though, is actually this second tab here that's called the Bundeslander leagues. Now, these are state or provincial leagues uh, in Germany. So there are 16 states in Germany, but this is what we want because if you can get your start in one of these lower division leagues, then you can actually move up in the German basketball system because there's something known as a dual license in Germany. But not only that, if you can get your start in one of these lower division leagues, that is a great, amazing way to hack the system because everyone will be able to see you perform. Everyone will be able to see your ability. So even if you are starting at a lower level, such as myself, I'm starting right now in Landesliga in one of these state leagues, but I've already had multiple teams from regional league even one pro B team contact me interested in my services for next season or at the end of this season, which I'll get into at the end of the video. But this is an amazing way for you to basically jump the system uh, and hack the system in a lot of ways. When you click on a league, you're going to get this pop-up menu right here, which is going to have all the different leagues within that state. So for instance, I just clicked on one of the states here. And as I can see, it has Oberliga, which is sixth division in Germany, Landesliga, Bischliga, Kreisliga, ABC, all the different leagues, divisions within that state. Now, what you're going to do is you're going to click on one of these leagues, one of these state leagues, and then you're going to have your gender, which you're going to have to pick male, female, or mixed. And then you're going to have a breakdown of the different conferences within that state. So as you can see here, you don't even need to speak German, but you can see it says Landesliga, male, U14. So obviously we don't want that. What we want are these are the senior levels, the men's leagues levels. And that would be Landesliga North, Landesliga South. Even though it's Landesliga, they're broken up into two different conferences. Now this is where I am actually playing and I'm playing in Landesliga. Now what I want you to do is you actually go to the table. So it's going to have these three tabs at the top of the screen. What I want you to do is you want to click on the table tab. And then you'll get the results, the sandings of the league. So as you can see, we're first place currently at the time of this recording. Now the important thing, I cannot stress this enough, the most important thing you want to see here 
are these little numbers here beside each team. Now these signify whether a team is the first team or the second team or the third team or the fourth team or so forth. So if we take an example of Landesliga North where I'm currently playing in with Bobbenhausen, then we can see that my team is actually the first team. My team is the first team. It's the best team in the organization, the best team we're in the seventh division. It's going to vary based on the organization. So as you can see here, TV Langen 3, they are playing in the Landesliga, but they're playing in Landesliga with their third team. So that means there are two teams in Langen that are playing above the Landesliga. This is important because in Germany, there's something known as a dual license where a player can actually play for two teams from the same organization simultaneously for a maximum of five games. For instance, if I were to look at this again and I saw that TV Langen 3 was in Landesliga, I would say they're playing in the seventh division, a lower division. But if I can get to Langen and play on that team and play well, then their higher level teams are probably, they're at least playing in Oberliga, which is sixth division. More likely, they're probably playing in Regional Liga because there's two different teams. Likely, they'd be on different levels. So, this is a huge way that you can hack the system. You can start in a team like Langen, play in a lower division, do well, put up stats, win games, and then they can move you up for a maximum of five games to another division. That first team in Langen may have never been interested in you to begin with because it's a higher level, because they don't trust your game film, they don't like your resume, they've never seen you play in person, they X, Y, Z. But if you can get to the Langen team, in the lower division and then prove yourself and then move up then basically you hack the system and you get to where you want it to be in the first place again for a maximum of five games but if you do well in those five games if you integrate yourself in that bottom team and do well then you're integrated into the whole organization into the whole club and you can move up from there now the next thing you want to do is after you have identified a number of teams that have multiple clubs playing in lower and higher divisions that you can scale up in a single season. What you want to do is you want to go to Eurobasket and actually find these clubs. See if there's any contact information on them. That should be the first lead for you. Now, some of these clubs, actually a lot of these clubs probably will not have contact information. They will not have social media pages uh, listed. It's going to be really sporadic. So just find what you can. If you can find something, then good. Message that club, message that team. There may even be a coach's name associated with it. So for instance, if I was interested in playing in Langen 3 and the Landesliga, I would be seeing, do, is there any contact information for their Langen 1 team in Regional Liga? And if there is, then perfect. Go ahead. But if there isn't, then there's still other ways you can do this. Now, another way that I'm planning on doing this is I'm actually looking to make a contact sheet where I collect the social medias, some of the basic contact information of all of these lower level divisions in Germany because this currently does not exist on Eurobasket. If you go to Eurobasket, it is capped off at Oberliga, basically Regional Liga 1. After that, there's very, 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 very little information on any of the teams. So I'm looking to actually create a contact sheet for you guys. So stay tuned. I'm going to be pulling that out in a newsletter. I'm going to be giving that, rolling that out, hopefully in the next month or so, of just basic information for players to get their start to get a point of reference of who to contact. The main way, if you are really at your wits end, if you really want to make this succeed, is to actually go over there in person, find a job, get a visa, and actually try out for the team. Now that is a huge time commitment. That is a huge life commitment. It all depends on your situation. Now a lot of you, this is why I made this video, a lot of you are coming to me with no college experience, are coming to me with huge gap years. It's going to take something extreme for you to make it and that's just the reality of it. So that may require you to literally uproot your whole life and go to Germany and try out for a team. Now, what I do not advise, I repeat, I repeat, I repeat, I do not advise you to kill yourself financially to do this. That's why when you are coming and when you are doing this strategy and if you decide you actually want to move to Germany, find a visa, what you have to do is you have to be financially in place to do so. Do not quit your day job just so you can go on a whim and try out in Germany. That is not what I am advising at all. 
What you have to do is you have to take your time, strategically plan what you are going to do, see what team actually has multiple teams, and you have to look at the lower divisions specifically because if you start in a lower division, you do not want to stay there because there is not, there's obviously not a lot of money there. Very rarely do they pay. And you may not get the fulfillment that you want out of overseas basketball. So you have to be smart in the way that you are doing this. So anyway, guys, let me know how you get along with this method. If you are seriously considering it, then go ahead and give it a try and reach out to me if you have any questions. I'm always happy to help. Thanks so much for listening. In the meanwhile, take care. God bless and peace.